Earth Day is tomorrow, and more than half of Americans say they are concerned about global warming. That's according to polling from Yale University last year. Are we making any progress? CBS 2's David Schechter spoke with one of the country's top climate scientists about what's really happening on the dot. What are we doing well as it relates to trying to deal with climate change? Well, so the, the most important thing that's happened, and the thing that gives me the most hope that we can solve this is uh, this revolution that we're now experiencing in uh, renewable energy. So over the last 10 years, the price of solar has dropped 90%. The price of wind has dropped 70%. And they are now our cheapest energy sources. So these kinds of things don't happen in a vacuum. Why, what did we do that makes this happen? Yeah, that's a really great question. So, you know, innovation, we understand how innovation works. So at first, someone has some idea and they invent something, but it's almost never ready to go to market immediately. And then really what helps is the government can come in and the government can say, we're going to buy a million of them and we're going to use them in government buildings. It's because these subsidies allow these corporations to build lots of units and they learned how to build them cheaply. So subsidies is like a weird word because a lot of people think of it as a dirty word or a bad, bad word. Um, well, so, you know, you can think of a subsidy as, as sort of the opposite of a tax. So I can tax something I don't want you to do, or I can subsidize something I do want you to do. But uh, in our political climate, you getting it. a tax, yeah, you can't get a tax in. So what we found out is that subsidizing things you can't that that you can get people to agree on so your choice like of all the things we could say we're doing really well your choice is we have we have gotten renewable energy to a point where it's really affordable that's right we've gotten renewable energy to the point where we can over the next few decades largely phase out fossil fuels. Not completely, there are always some edge cases that it's hard to replace them, but we can do this if we want to. David, searching across the country for the latest signs of climate change and how communities are responding, go along for the ride in a half hour special airing tomorrow morning at 5.30 on CBS2 and streaming on CBS News New York.